Hi, my name is Dr. Ed Glazer. A little on my background. I originally studied mechanical engineering at the State University in New York at Stony Brook. Then I went on to practice mechanical engineering for two years. I went back to school to become a podiatrist. And I was fascinated with this machine, the foot, and how it functions. But most of what I learned in school didn't agree with the basic principles of physics and engineering. So I went back into my garage and tinkered for about 15 years. And unbeknownst to me, I had taken a fresh look at how biomechanics works, how biomechanics of the foot functions. So what I'm going to show you is going to cut across the grain of everything you were taught in lower extremity biomechanics. And we call this course the bottom block. I'm going to ask you to think outside the box. In the words of Stephen Hawking, the goal of science is to have theory match observation. And what we were taught in school just didn't match what we were actually seeing. Now, we're not done learning by any means. We're still doing a lot of research. We're researching at several universities, including this is some work I did at the Smithsonian. These are some bones from the Aleutian Islands. We were looking at the angulation of the various facets of the subtalar joint held in a particular position. I was a little shocked when they brought out the Egyptian calcanei from the 12th dynasty, 4,300 years old. Look at the size of this heel spur. And then I was floored when they wheeled out the Neanderthal calcaneus. This is the hand of David Hunt, the chief of physical anthropology at the Smithsonian, holding the Neanderthal sacrum. Now, depending on what profession you were trained and what letters are after your name, that's going to determine how you look at the kinetic chain. We can liken the kinetic chain to a stack of blocks. And if you're a physical therapist, you see these little guy wires that hold the blocks up, the muscles, tendons, and ligaments. And if we can stretch and strengthen the guy wires, we can realign the blocks of the kinetic chain. And that works beautifully. If you're a chiropractor, you palpate down the spine or take an x-ray, and you say, that block's out of place. And you push it back into place. And very often, the guy wires will pull it right back out. And you'll fight this tug of war with gravity. But gravity works 24-7. If you're a surgeon, and I was a surgeon for about 13 years, you look down a toilet paper roll, and you say, what's your chief complaint? And the patient points where it hurts, and we cut on it. <laughs> what all three of these approaches is missing is the bottom block of the kinetic chain. Because if the bottom block is tilted, the entire kinetic chain will go out of balance. This course is the way an engineer would look at the bottom block. And engineers see things very differently. You probably heard the optimist sees the glass half full and the pessimist half empty. The engineer sees a glass that's twice as big as it needs to be. Just a little different look. And the first thing I always ask myself when I'm going to study something new is why am I even looking at